welcome back friends in this class we will learn about movement of lipid molecules in the plasma membrane as we all know that plasma membrane is fluidic in nature it is not static and the plasma membrane is actually bilayered in structure so let's assume this is the cytosol or cytoplasm cytosol so those bilayer or the layer that is close to the cytosol are called cytoplasmic leaflet cytoplasmic leaflet and the upper layer is called exoplasmic leaflet this is the exterior of the cell okay so a plasma membrane is fluidic in nature and has bilayer now this plasma membrane perform three type of movement the first is lateral diffusion lateral diffusion the second is rotational diffusion you can call it lateral movement rotational movement and the third is flip flop so there are three type of movement can be performed by lipid molecules that are present in the plasma membrane in case of lateral diffusion or lateral movement the lipid molecule of a particular leaflet it could be cytoplasmic leaflet or exoplasmic leaflet they move along the left side or right side that means it can move in this side or in this side so this is called lateral movement this movement can also be performed in this leaflet also so the li lipid molecules can move in this side or this side of lipid molecule can move in this side so these are called lateral movement and i will show a experiment by which you can understand uh, whether the lipid molecule go through lateral movement or not now another movement is performed by this lipid molecule is called rotational movement in which each and every lipid molecule stand its own position but rotate rotate 360 degree it rotate this molecule can rotate so here the molecule lipid molecule will not change its position in case of lateral movement it can change let's assume this is the first lipid molecule after lateral movement it could be present here it could be present here okay but in case of rotational movement the lipid molecule remain same uh, same position but rotate one information i want to mention here a very interesting uh, fact that each and every lipid molecule that are present in the plasma membrane can exchange its position to the neighbor lipid molecule 10 to the power 7 times per second that is very interesting 10 to the power 7 times means 1 crore per second so a lipid molecule that are present in the plasma membrane can change its positions to the neighbor lipid molecule 1 crore times per second so this is lateral and rotational movement lipid molecules that are present in the plasma membrane can perform this two type of movement very easily but this flip flop movement is not occurs spontaneously because this need this flip flop movement needs a help of proteins flip flop movement means here you can see the lateral diffusion and rotational movement actually occur in particular leaflet like this molecule this lipid molecule is present in the cytoplasmic leaflet and moving here and there or it can rotate here and there it can rotate so they do not change their leaflet positions okay they do not change this lipid molecule do not go to the exoplasmic leaflet or the exoplasmic leaflet molecule cannot come into the cytoplasmic leaflet but in case of flip flop what happens this movement can occur one lipid molecule that is present in the cytosolic leaflet can go to the exoplasmic leaflet that is very interesting so in this flip flop movement what happens they exchange their positions here and there so they can change 
that like the lipid molecule of the exoplasmic leaflet can come into the cytoplasmic leaflet or the cytoplasmic leaflet can go to the exoplasmic leaflet or both can occur both can occur in both directions so there are three enzymes or three proteins actually are responsible for this movement i will show you the first is performed by flipage there is an enzyme called flipase that perform that actually helps in the movement of exterior or exoplasmic leaflet so it transfer exoplasmic leaflet lipid to the cytosolic leaflet so you can see here the exoplasmic leaflet go to the cytoplasmic leaflet this is the first time first conditions this movement like from the exoplasmic leaflet to the cytosolic leaflet is performed by a protein called flipage this protein is actually a p type atpage p type atpage the second type of movement that is uh, the movement of lipid molecule from the cytosolic leaflet to the exoplasmic leaflet this is the second condition is performed by another protein called floppage floppage so here cytosolic leaflet leaflet lipid move to the exoplasmic leaflet this floppage protein is actually a abc transporter so i will discuss about what is p type atp page abc transporter when i will talk about transport p type atp page and abc means atp binding cassidy transporter these are some proteins and the third type of movement that is i have mentioned here both side it can go through this is the third this is performed by another protein called scramblage scramblage here both direction transfer or movement can occur both direction okay now i will give you some examples that actually um, require this protein helps example is during the dye when cell dye by apoptosis uh, some uh, lipid molecules that are specially present in the cytoplasmic leaflet so this is very important that the arrangement of this lipid molecule is not proportionate like i want to mention here phosphatidylcholine and sphingomyelin are present predominantly in the exoplasmic leaflet so i can uh, show here this phosphatidylcholine and sphingomyelin present mostly in the exoplasmic leaflet and phosphatidylserine phosphatidyl inositol phosphatidyl ethanolamine are present mostly in the cytoplasmic leaflet when cell die by apoptosis program cell death this phosphatidylserine that are present mainly in the cytoplasmic leaflet let's assume this green is the phosphatidylserine this phosphatidylserine lipid molecule when cell die this molecule go to the exoplasmic leaflet okay this process actually do not occur spontaneously okay you have to remember this the movement of lateral diffusion and rotational diffusion can occur spontaneously but flip flop movement occur do not occur spontaneously when cell die this phosphatidylserine can go to this uh, cytoplasmic leaflet to the exoplasmic leaflet so it can move here to here so it can move now how do we know that this phosphatidylserine has moved to the exterior portion of exoplasmic leaflet there is a protein that bind with this molecule 
spot particle serin we use during our experiment to check whether there is any apoptosis occurring in a cell the protein name is annexin 5 annexin 5 is a protein that can bind with this phosphatidyl serine okay and we tag this annexin 5 with a uh, fluorescent tag like it could be fitzy so we use annexin 5 with fluorescent tag so this protein like annexin can bind with this serine molecule serine molecule that is tagged with fitz now by flow cytometry you can understand whether this cell is going to apoptosis or not so what happens during cell die by apoptosis phosphatidyl serine can go to the exoplasmic leaflet but most of the time when cell are actually healthy phosphatidyl serine most of the phosphatidyl serine are present in the cytosolic leaflet or cytoplasmic leaflet okay this is the one example another example is when a uh, blood clotting occur that that the first movement uh, the platelets or uh, the uh, platelets plasma membrane and the uh, cytosolic leaflet phosphatidyl serine so the phosphatidyl serine that is present in the plasma membrane of platelets actually go to the exoplasmic leaflet and activate clotting enzyme this is very important so this phosphatidyl serine can activate clotting enzyme and for that reason the platelet plasma membrane of the phosphatidyl serine go to the exoplasmic leaflet and activate the clotting enzyme so another example so now i will talk about so these are the three enzyme that perform distinct functions in case of flip flop movement flipage that helps in the movement of exoplasmic leaflet to the to the cytosolic leaflet this is a p type atp there is a flopage that could move the lipid molecules from the cytosolic leaflet to the exoplasmic leaflet and there is a scramblage that helps to move these molecules both directions okay now i will show you another experiments by which we can know that there is a lateral diffusion occur we have performed a uh, assay called annexin 5 assay by which you can understand whether there is any apoptosis occurring in the cell now i will show you another experiment by which we can know lateral diffusions the method is called frap the method is called frap the full form of frap is very interesting fluorescence recovery after photo bleaching okay this name actually tells total story there is a full name fluorescence recovery after photo bleaching that means frap here what is done let's assume this is a cell this is a cell and this is the plasma membrane okay i am not showing the bilayer structure this black boundary is the plasma membrane let's assume scientists actually uh, do a uh, perform actually a thing that is called tag they tag with fluorescent dye with the plasma membrane they attach fluorescent dye with this plasma membrane now this fluorescent dye actually glow okay this can be detected so this fluorescent dye is present on the plasma membrane the second step is this is the first step tagging of the cell with fluorescent dye the second step is this is the cell the second step is scientist actually bleach bleach this fluorescent to a particular region let's assume they bleach in this area but not other region so there is fluorescent dye that is present in this region but not present in this region so this is called photo bleaching they bleach this area they bleach in this area and they wait for few seconds 
they wait so there is a bleaching and they wait for few seconds to see whether whether any fluorescent dye come to this site so they actually observe observe whether any fluorescent dye come to this region now here is the bleach area if lateral movement occur because we have tagged the fluorescent dye on lipid molecules okay now lateral movement means it can it can change its position here i am showing the linear position but the cell is actually circular okay spherical so the movement of this lipid molecule can be here and there all this area now this lipid molecule uh, which is actually bleached can be replaced by this fluorescent tag lipid molecule if there is no lateral movement there will be in this region the bleach region will not will not show any fluorescence if there is no lateral diffusion this bleach area will not show any fluorescence but if there is any lateral movement occur in the plasma membrane then some fluorescent tag lipid molecules come in this site and can glow and can be detected this is the um, method so you can see here fluorescence so these beads are fluorescence recovery it take times so this is the time waiting time that is recovery time recovery after photo bleaching so i have bleached the, this area after photo bleaching i, I want to recover i want to see uh, that whether there is any recovery occur in this region if lateral movement occur some dye will come here and glow and we can observe this this is called frap movement by which we can understand that there is a lateral movement of lipid molecules are present so this is very short class about the lateral movement or movement of this plasma uh, lipid molecules in my next class i will talk about other special features about the lipid molecules and plasma membrane you hope this video will help you if you like my video subscribe this channel so that you can get the latest video update and if you have any doubt about this topic you can write me in the comment section thank you for watching and always keep learning